Hey everyone. Now at the 12th episode of Voltron Legendary Defenders 8th season, The Zenith. The penultimate installment. Continuing right away from the end of the previous episode, Anerva has fused her row beast with Lotor's syncline, not even physically combining, just as entities, as objects, they have completely merged. Their designs are amalgamated now, so like, uh, has the more bulky limbs of the syncline, the long tail. Minerva's mech's wings are now much more pronounced and enhanced in their abilities. And through the necessary channeling of quintessence and alchemy and dark magic, she manages to open a rift to alternate realities. And so she begins her journey, not caring about multiversal collapse and the destruction and death that leaves in her wake. So now, the Paladins, the Atlas Crew, the Voltron Coalition all work fast on figuring out how to first contain the rift so their own native reality isn't in immediate jeopardy. But of course, to go after Inerva and stop her and somehow undo this dangerous mission. <clears throat> we get some great reinforcement from eight Balmeras coming in to help, including the original that the Paladins visited so long ago. In fact, channeling all that they can to merge the Atlas and Voltron in a similar way. Giving it basically from the Atlas's size and overall bulky shape a bit more of the humanoid touches of Voltron, like proper feet, a bit more of a <clears throat> kind of muscular, like realistically muscular based silhouette instead of just round mechanical shapes. Uh, the head becomes a version of Voltron's. It gains a lion face on its chest. Kind of simplified versions of the wings and thrusters, kind of in between regular and transcendent. And for splashes of color, mainly yellow and red. Not much of the other lions from what I could see. Although, <clears throat> nice. And you had to cover up some of the action scenes before that, in fact. Before Anerva enters the rift. Sorry to backtrack. But uh, the turncoat Altean against Anerva Merla, she comes to and tries to hold up the fight in our hero's favor. So at her 
urging the paladins when they merge into Voltron, they simply work on incapacitating the row beasts rather than destroying. Uh, the lions demonstrate some of their power-ups for the first time in a while. Black with the uh, transcendent wings, yellow with the uh, additional armor, things like that. But yeah, back to journeying through realities and stuff. <laughs> uh, Koran comes up with the idea to try to contain the rift in a similar way to how the Castle of Lions did to the breach of the Quintessence Field at the end of Season 6. But even with the Balmeras, with the Altaians' help, it's still not quite enough. And there's another lucky arrival in the Galra fleet that Krolia and Colavan recently left to contact and convince to work with them. Channeling the cruisers' energies as best they can to help the containment. <clears throat> but with this new Atlas Voltron journeying through realities, following after Anerva, they basically keep finding realities, primarily alternate, well, viewed from alternate Alteas. Kind of just the landscape shrinking away as a sort of a closing iris with just sheer blackness all around it, while the rift looms above them. There is a brief fight between the two, like mile size or so mechs. Uh, Atlas Voltron, so far at least, has like energy blasts from the eyes in its lion head chest and a new sword that I can wield. Meanwhile, Anerva's uh, can psychically contain threats. It can launch blasts of kind of like concentrated dark alchemy. The wings can again be used offensively or defensively. Pretty intense stuff, especially keeping the scale of both the fighters and the overall battlefield in mind. And there's also quite the emotional impact with this kind of sudden turn, because you know it's not going as it should. Don't want to say what happens necessarily. <clears throat> but I will leave you with this very ominous line from Anerva. If there is no place in this universe for me, then there will be no universe at all. Yeah, haunting. <laughs> Quite the uh, manifesto, basically. Just like a one-line manifesto for her mission. But now onward, seeing you in episode 78.